The New York skyline represented big city life when Rodney White was a kid growing up in Augusta. Liberated by the graffiti of other kids, he too drew and sketched New York as only he could imagine it to be. Like a dream on the distant horizon, an icon of success. Um, a few months back, I saw this, sun, this sunset right out of my window and I saw the skyline for the first time like I was drawing it when I was a kid. So New York just represents the grown-up version of my childhood dream. <laughs> but it's a dream that took time to find. Nine years in Atlanta mixing odd jobs in school. Nine years tapping out different ideas of graphic design until he finally found himself as an artist. You don't come to New York to find yourself. You come to New York to become yourself. You already know what that is and you want to realize that here. And Rodney White's been realizing that for more than four years now, setting his sights on the future by recreating the past. His whimsical work is positive, poetic, distressed designs like old weather-beaten highway signs he rolled by as a kid. And it's the nostalgic quality of his work that adds up to something unusual, a point of reference from anyone's perspective, but always life-affirming, even in the context of death. My target is the human. There's no race, there's no color, there's no age, there's no gender, it's a human. And if you're alive, <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> and though Rodney White's door is always open to interpretation, he tries to expose something inside ourselves. It may say what you think it says, it may not, but at least you own what you think it says. I would like to believe that there's something in it for everybody. I read a book once that says if you really want to own something, you have to draw it. You can't own anything in a memory until you draw it. It's like that skyline belongs to me because I've been drawing it for years. <laughs> and Rodney White's still drawing on it, still collecting ideas and images from the icon of his days in Augusta. And like those old billboards of his childhood, the skyline's impression will burn forever in his memory, no matter where he may be. There's always a next place. There's too many places I haven't been yet for there not to be a next place. But New York is this place. 